today I'm having probably the most famous Sichuan dish in the world. You know it as Kung Pao chicken, but in China they call it Kung Pao Ji Ding. So let's order up a bowl and you can see what authentic Sichuan Kung Pao chicken looks like. Oh, sure, sure. I'm in a pretty noisy market right here. Uh, uh, this is a fly restaurant. Uh, they call it a fly restaurant because people fly in and out. The food is good, it's cheap and it doesn't have anything to do with the hygiene even though the hygiene is pretty bad in these restaurants. Uh, there might be a lot of background noise. You might hear that wok roaring, some angle grinding going on because it's China and there's always angle grinding going on. So before pinion came along, Westerners would use the Wade Giles system to Romanize Mandarin. In the Wade Giles system, Gong Bao is spelled like Kung Pao chicken. So that's surely where they got the name from. But in Chinese, the name Gong Bao translates literally to palace guardian. And they say the name came from the Sichuanese governor back in the 1800s. He was known as the palace guardian. So they think the dish was named after him. Surprisingly, the dish isn't that popular here in Sichuan or in China. I mean, it, it, you can get it anywhere in China. It's somewhat popular, but not as widely popular as it is in the West. I think that has to do with the meat. Gong Pao chicken uses breast meat. The Chinese people, they prefer a darker meat. Westerners seem to prefer white meat. So that probably explains why it's so much more popular in the West than it is in China. All right, so let's dig into this and have a look, see how it's different than the Western version you get. First things first, this is Sichuan. So there's definitely some Sichuan peppercorns in this. Some of that tingling, that uh, numbing pepper that's in pretty much every Sichuan dish. <coughs> so you wouldn't get the tingling, numbing pepper in the West that often. Some places might do it. Second thing, it's probably the chilies. There's a few different types of chilies that they use in Sichuan. Um, probably different ones than they would use in the West. In Sichuan, they like to use, I think the translation is something like facing heaven chilies. And they call it that because the peppers literally grow upside down. So they grow up towards the sky. And it's, it's spicy, but not that, that spicy. It's very sweet. It's a sweet dish here. In the West, it's more, more of just like a garlic, chili chicken dish. Here they'll use rice wine to like flavor the chicken. Probably don't do that in the West. Um, they'll use a dark vinegar here. You know, every place in the West is a little different. There's probably some authentic places, but just the average American Chinese place is probably not using the right ingredients. The dish is made with a very hot wok. Most of the Chinese fried things are made in a wok with intense heat. They blast it with heat. They'll throw the chicken in. Like we're talking like two minutes and this chicken's cooked. They'll throw it in, heat it up real fast, and then take it out, drain the oil. So they're basically like deep frying it. And then they'll cook the other ingredients, get a nice flavor going, and they'll put the chicken back in for another 30 seconds, minute or so. I barely had my camera set up and they were putting the dish on the table. In my opinion, the highlight of the dish is the peanuts. They add a nice texture, a crunchiness, a nice flavor to it. I love mixing things like seeds or nuts into a savory dish. It just adds this dimension that you don't expect. Sometimes they'll use roasted peanuts and they'll throw them in at the end, kind of like a garnish. Sometimes they'll take raw peanuts, deep fry them in a little bit of oil, and sort of roast them or fry them themselves. I like to throw a scoop of rice in there. Let the rice soak the sauce up a bit. There's lots of green onions in it. Sometimes places will put carrots in it. I've seen potatoes, asparagus lettuce, if you even believe that's a thing. It's like a, a thick, it's almost like a broccoli stem. Similar to a carrot texture, maybe a bit softer though. So I'll grab a mix of rice, I got a piece of chicken, some peanuts. That there is the perfect mouthful. That's really good. China is not what you think it is. I live here and I'm shooting two videos a week now. Usually one video about food, one video about the culture and what it's like living in China, the mentality of the people, all kinds of interesting things coming out of China right now. So please subscribe and follow along whatever way you, you prefer.